Hey guys, this is Nigeria Watch Blog and my name is Ewase. Before I go on, I want to please subscribe to the channel, drop your comments, like and share. Also follow us on Twitter, Instagram and like our page on Facebook. Thank you. Now the Ministry of Interior, uh, Obeni Raf has declared Wednesday and Thursday a public holiday and this is to mark the El Dufi 3 celebration. Congratulations to all my Muslim friends. Now the federal government has announced the phase four of another lockdown, COVID-19 lockdown guys. This was declared by um, Dr. Mohammed, a member of the Presidential Steering Committee. This restriction starts on the 11th Tuesday. On social measures, there are strong concerns about the non-compliance to public health and social measures, which are contained in the Health Protection Regulation 2021. Specifically, the level of adherence to the use of face mask, physical distancing, temperature checks in public spaces, hand washing, and limitations placed on large gatherings remain very poor. In some areas, these are even non-existent. In line with the increasing risk of a surge in cases, the PSC is therefore maintaining the enforcement of the COVID-19 health protection regulation. This is to mitigate the risk of a spike in new cases while the nation vaccine, nationwide vaccine rollout continues. The national response continues to focus on achieving a balance between preserving lives and livelihoods while working towards long-term epidemic control. These are the new restrictions. Further to this recommendation, and effective from 0001 hours of Tuesday, 11th May 2021, this phase four of the first restriction of movement shall come into effect. We shall maintain restrictions on mass gatherings outside work settings with a maximum number of 50 people in any enclosed space. Approved gatherings must be held with physical distancing measures and other non-pharmaceutical interventions in place. Event centers, bars, nightclubs shall remain closed until further notice. Restaurants are to provide eat-in at 50% capacity and provide takeaways were available. These measures are to enable the government of Nigeria effectively prevent and control the resurgence of an acute phase of this pandemic, continue to strengthen our public health systems, and protect the lives of Nigerians and our economy. It is critical that greater ownership and responsibility of these measures are secured from both the general public and government institutions across federal and state levels. It is believed that these steps will help consolidate the gains made thus far and position our country to effectively overcome the pandemic going forward. Four days ago, the reported case of coronavirus was 49. As at three days ago, it was 30. These numbers aren't that bad. The numbers aren't that bad. Again, vaccines has been made available, isn't it? We are taking the vaccine. So what is this lockdown about? What are they not telling us? If the federal government wants to declare a state of emergency due to the insecurities going on in the country, deal with your chest. Come up and say, say it. Lockdown by international airports, local airports, interstate uh, travelings are allowed. Lockdown. 
maybe it might not be as serious as the last but it's not even necessary at all i mean precautions have been taken not a lot of people are wearing their face masks though but the number of it wasn't as bad as last year the numbers are going down by the day that is a good thing so my question is why exactly are we going into another fourth phase of lockdown i mean well, <laughs> when did the second and third happen was it during the NSAS period because i think we skipped some numbers to the fourth phase if you ask me mind you the coronavirus is very much active is still very much active but a lockdown not worth it what do you think please kindly drop your comments please i would love to hear from you in onicha anambra states a truck of ammunition fell in the ditch you guys this is quite interesting this happened this hap this happened around the wee hours of the morning but by the time the um the driver and the conductor you are you are done packing up the security had been called on them like police had arrived to the scene my question is this Were there no military or police checkpoints? How did they get that far? Now, people in Anambra states are living in fear for the unknown. Because for that kind of number of ammunition, live bullets being transported within the states or in and out of the states, would you be scared? Where was the truck coming from? Where was the truck going? How many number of how many numbers of truck has successfully passed that region? What is really going on? How did we get here in Nigeria? How did we get to this place? Hmm. Meanwhile, in Asso Rock, a whole Asso Rock, the chief of staff to the president, Ibrahim Gambari, confirmed there was a robbery attempt in his in his residence. Same attempt was made on the admin officer. My Kano. Both places are located in Asso Rock. Whether they attempted successfully or not, if such if such such news can even happen around the Asso Rock. You guys, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Though they are saying the stories that the blogs are carrying, the stories that are not real, the stories are not true, they didn't succeed. And it's not inside Asso Rock, it's just around Asso Rock. Still, still, if a place like that can even have a rumor surrounding um, being attacked by armed robbers, where can we say it's safe? Which way in Nigeria?
Anyway. Thanks for watching. My name is Ewase and this is Niger Watch Vlog. Please don't forget to subscribe on our channel. Like, comment, and share. Also follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and like our page on Facebook. Thank you so much.